my name is Fiona Brown and I am doing this devotion from Jeffreys Bay in South Africa where I work as a missionary. So the line of the song that I've chosen to do a devotion on today is light and life to all he brings. Now I chose this originally because I thought it would be so easy. Actually it became very difficult because there's so many things in the word of God, so many instances where um, light and life are mentioned. It's difficult to pin down just an eight minute devotion on such an extensive topic. So uh, many times in the Bible, life and light are mentioned in the same sentence or in the same passage because they're linked. So let's, uh, for example, in John 1 verse 5, it says, In him was life and the power to bestow life, and the life was the light of men. Jesus, the one who we celebrate at this season and all year round, who came as a baby into his created world to reconcile us back to the Father, this Jesus is the light of the life and the life of light. He has to be light and life or greater than light and life to be able to create light and life. And we read about this in the beginning of the Bible in Genesis 1 and 2, the creation of, of light. The, what, one of the first things that God created was light on the first day. There's so much more to light than our perception of it. We have our experience of light and what we as humans have found out about it, including um, UV rays and gamma rays and radio waves, and infrared radiation. Um, we've found out, but I don't, don't ask me how, that light travels at 186,000 miles per second. That's about as far as a car will travel in its lifetime, but in one second. God is light, and he says he is light in the Bible. In John 8, verse 12, he said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. There is so much we still don't know. And as I was studying this very thing, I realized how massive this topic is because we're talking not only of our limited understanding of what we know light to be, but of God himself. God is unfathomable. If he were fathomable, he would not be God. If we knew all there was to know about light and life, we would be God because we would know God fully. Jesus states not only that he is the light of the world in John 8, but also he said, I am the way, the truth and the life in John 14. Both light and life are two of the seven I am statements that Jesus says in, found in John um, chapter 6 to 15. Michael Gross, um, in Michael Gross's book, Light and Life, published in 2003 by Oxford University Press, the summary reads, Light, like no other physical phenomenon, is linked in a wide variety of ways with the biological phenomenon of life. You are able to read this page, for instance, because light is reflected from it and carries the information to your retina, where it can be converted to nerve signals. While you are doing that, you breathe oxygen, which was produced by green plants using the energy of sunlight. Your inner organs are breaking down food, chemical the chemical energy of which can also be traced back to photosynthesis. You are sufficiently awake to understand these thoughts because your inbuilt biological clock 
has set itself using the cues of light and darkness and tells you that you are still within an active period of your day. So at this very moment, you are making direct or indirect use of three fundamentally important interfaces between light and life, vision, photosynthesis, and the biological clock. We have come to the conclusion then that light and life are linked closely um, and that they are both attributes of God. The second part of my line says, to all he brings. Jesus was God's free gift, not to an elite few people, but to all people. John 3.16 is a very well-known verse. I'm sure everybody knows it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. He says, for, those, for God so loved the world that whoever believes, that means we're all accepted. When we accept that free gift by faith, we become light and life carriers to others. As the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in us and makes his home in us. Jesus came as a baby, the very essence of life, eternal, eternal life and light to the world so that we may experience reconciliation back to the Father and, and to show others the way back to himself, back to the Father. This Christmas, let's remember these amazing gifts that were freely given to all as we celebrate Jesus' birth. Let's pray. Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit, you are the light and life. You are everything we need. We celebrate those wonderful attributes of you and how light and life are freely available to us because of Jesus. Him coming as a baby and ultimately sacrificing his life so we can be restored to you, Father. We worship, glorify and exalt you today as always as we remember you are the light and life and all we need to be can be found in you. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much. You came as a baby to die as a criminal, so we can walk in complete light and life ourselves. Help us, Lord, to take full advantage of all you have done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all from me in sunny South Africa. Have a blessed Christmas and a wonderful 2024. Hey.